Hi there, Emily Midget here with you today for this month's installment of Exploring with Emily. For this month, I thought I would do a little exploration of primary and secondary colors and color mixing using the Daniel Smith Watercolor Essential Set. This set includes six tubes of watercolor that are perfect for mixing and matching to create a beautiful array of shades. It features Quinacridone Rose, Pyrrhal Scarlet, New Gamboge, Hansa Yellow Light, Phthalo Blue Green, and French Ultramarine. Traditionally, red, yellow, and blue are considered to be primary colors, and colors created by mixing two of those primary colors are called secondary colors. Today's video will show you how to mix these six primary colors to create a variety of secondary shades using several stamped images from the Mondo Flowers Collection from Ellen Hudson. I stamped several of the images from the Mondo Flowers Collection onto some Arches Cold Press watercolor paper and heat embossed them with platinum embossing powder. For my first secondary color mixture, I used French Ultramarine and Quinacridone Rose to create a beautiful variety of purples and blues for the Mondo Hydrangea. I poured these individual watercolors into their own pans for my larger watercolor palette, but easily pulled them out and placed them in the wells of my Waffle Flower Mixed Media Mat. I then used the easily cleaned silicone mat to mix the French Ultramarine and Quinacridone Rose to create my purple. You can easily manipulate the specific shade of purple depending on the intensity of the blue or the red that you add to your mixture. For a deeper blue violet, add more blue, and for a brighter red violet shade, add more red. For each flower today, I will begin by creating my secondary mixture, then diluting that secondary mixture with water to create a very pale version of each shade. I then color the entire image with this pale diluted color, dry the image with my heat gun, then go back with more intense concentrated color to add details and extra shading and depth. I have found this to be a relatively quick way to watercolor fairly detailed images like those in the Mondo Flowers collection. Because hydrangeas are full of color variation even within each petal on one flower head, I'm not as particular about adding the exact same shade of quinacridone rose and French ultramarine mixture, preferring instead to add blue violet here, red violet there, and allowing this somewhat random method of adding color to allow interest and variation to the entire flower. To create the green for the hydrangeas foliage, I combined French Ultramarine and New Gamboge to create an olive green. The darker, more orange undertones to the New Gamboge created a more muted green. I laid this concentrated color on the leaves where the shadows would be darkest and pulled the color out with my clean, wet brush. For my second flower, I chose to create a pink peony with an undertone of coral. The Daniel Smith Essentials pack contains two shades of each primary color, and while two differing primary shades will create a secondary color like purple or orange, you can also mix the two primary shades to create a unique color as I've done with this Mondo. I began by dropping very diluted Quinacridone Rose onto the entirety of the Peony Bloom, then dropped in some of the Pyrrhal Scarlet, which is a warmer red with orange undertones. While the rose was still wet, I randomly dropped in some of the diluted Pyrrhal Scarlet, creating a mottled solid base for the pink peony. Once my base had dried, I went back in with a concentrated mixture of the Quinacridone Rose and Pyrrhal Scarlet, adding details and shadows with the concentrated color, then pulling them out with my clean wet paintbrush. The solid pale layer helps to decrease the amount of time spent perfecting each individual petal.
To create bright, almost neon green leaves for the peony, I combined French ultramarine with the extremely bright Hansa yellow light. The brightness of the yellow helped to create a much brighter undertone than the previous green created with the new gamboge. I again went back with another layer of the concentrated green, also adding in a touch more French ultramarine, to add a bit more intensity to the shadows and to create further depth. For my final flower using the Mondo Gerbera Daisy, I wanted to create a bright, happy orange, so I combined Pearl Scarlet with the new Gamboge. Both of these colors have a warm, orangey undertone, so mixing them together created a lovely shade of orange. I again added a base layer of diluted color to the daisy, then after it had dried, went back with the more concentrated color to add more detail and shadows, adding extra color to the petals behind other petals, and leaving the front petals a bit lighter and brighter. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little exploration into creating unique secondary colors using only the six shades included in the Daniel Smith Essential Set sold at Ellen Hudson. It's amazing how many shades you can create using only a handful of colors, proving that you don't need to own every single color available to achieve lovely and unique results. If you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up, and if you'd like more information on the products used in the video, head over to the Ellen Hudson blog for all of the details. Thanks so much for watching and have a marvelous day.